everybody, Game Freak 346 here, back again with more Let's Play Minecraft. Woo! In the last episode, we got a lot of wood, so I'm hoping we can make it last for as long as possible. Meaning, I'm hoping I can finish this first-ish room with all of it. Because right now, I really only want to make sure that I can finish building this house before I start mining. Well, actual mining, not just mining out the side of the mountain so that I can build my house. Well, I guess this would technically count as mining. Just, you know, replacing everything with something new and original. And making it look pretty. Yeah, that's that's my explanation. What's yours? Tell me in the comment section below. No, please tell me. I need friends. <laughs> and let's just eat something right here. No. Nice. Looks like we're out of this. Let's just take that back. That should be enough fuel for this whole thing. Then let's just... Should I put something there? thinking maybe I'll dust it out with fence. Yeah, let's test it out with stuff that can be broken and that will give itself back to me once it is broken first, just so that I don't go regretting my decision in the end. Oh my god. Epic! I mean, not epic. The awesome music is back! As if you couldn't already tell, I am in love with this music. Ooh. Would that be... Ah, no. I don't like how that looks. I just don't. Wait, why am I breaking it with my fist? I have a stone axe. Right here in my hand. I made it in the last episode, and I've already forgotten about it. What kind of idiot am I? Would it look good with glass pane? Probably not. Yeah, I want glass blocks there. I don't know why I like glass! Also, tell me how you're liking this first room so far. Because I really kind of want to know if you guys are liking it. Really kind of want to know. Because I'm thinking I'll actually put the bedroom right in here. Gravel. At least it's on the floor this time, so I don't have to worry about it caving in on me. Ooh, and one of it gave me flint. Cool. Now all I need is to find iron, as I'll pronounce it throughout the entire series until I forget that I was gonna do that. You know, whenever you see gravel, you always want to stay back when digging above you, because if you get trapped under gravel, then... When it falls on you, you're pretty much done for. Unless you have, like, a really good shovel that can somehow break you out before you suffocate to deads. So, let's just... Yeah. I think I'm gonna put the bedroom 
in here and have this first way be the main entrance and then the other pieces of the house will be through here and off in this direction where it will branch out I like that idea now the only problem is where am I going to put the bed am I just going to dig this room out really far and then just maybe I'll make it kind of like I don't know I'll probably be changing the layout throughout the playthrough until I'm happy. But until then, we have a lot to work with. Let's just dig this out. Because I want to see how. Dang it. And there goes pick number two. Got more flint, at least. Also, I'd probably put a... I'd probably switch out some of these crafting tables for stuff. Because I don't want to have to rely on this... On these two areas as my only form of crafting tableness. Because the one thing I can say is that it would be very inconvenient to have to do that. So, maybe I'd put a crafting table in here. And now, I'm gonna spread crafting tables throughout this house, because it's gonna be a pretty dang big house. Yeah, I think I'll... put the bed... right here. Hopefully the glitchy sides will be touching. Because then I can, like, put bookcases and stuff and maybe, like, a secret entrance or something. Then I could have... First off, I need to make torches. Then, actually, let's... Because I remember I put... Aha! Meat. At least this wooden sword is almost broken. Ooh, those things are close. Where are they? I'm guessing all these trees could work as shade. But where are they? What? Where are they? Where are they? I don't like hearing them so close. Where are they? Don't hit me off the mountain. Let's put dirt there. are those things? Seriously, where are those things? Maybe 
all make an upper floor that kind of just has a hangout over there. Maybe. That could be awesome. Also, I need to place some wood there. I hear them getting hurt. Did they die? Oh, they were right over there the whole time. Ow. Why am I such an idiot? <laughs> My first reaction to falling off a cliff is why am I such an idiot? Which actually makes sense. I mean, who walks straight off a cliff besides me? Do I just suck at jumping or something? Here, let me fix that. And yet I did it again. Oh, they were in here. Ow, why do I keep jumping off cliffs? <sighs> why do I always jump off cliffs? Why is that a thing? Let's just destroy this grass. No, not all the way down. I did this on the first try last time. Why can't I do that now? Okay, now that we've done that, let's just continue. Ooh, that was lag. Why the lag? Okay, it's gone. Oh, come on. You have got to be kidding me. Dang, why so much lag? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go see if I can get more sand. If it starts getting dark, just gonna head straight back. Not even gonna try to get more. Because I know that it would probably kill me. Considering how bad at jumping I am. And considering it's not exactly a straight shot from here to the sand. If only could sand could, like, self-respawn. Another convenient thing would be if we were near a desert biome. Unfortunately, I'm just not that lucky. To have a forest right where I need it, right next to a desert biome. So that I could have lots of sand and lots of glass. That would be convenient. Unfortunately, most survival games are not meant to be convenient for those of the people who are playing it. Mostly because then it would be less about survival and more about can you click a button more than two times. Why is that pig staring at me? I don't like it. For that, it must die. Dang, three meat. Wow, was it like carrying that in its pockets? Just for me? Thanks. Okay, let's 
let's just get all that. 44 pieces of glass should be enough for now. Let's just... Ha! Well, that sucked. Dang it. My sword broke. Dang it, I fell. Dang it, I fell again. Dang it, I forgot to say dang it. Where'd that pig that was dying go? Because I have a fresh new stone. A fresh new stone sword with your face written on it. Thank you. <laughs> I have a stone sword with your face written on it. Want to see it? Oh, yeah, sure. Blah. Die to the face. Perfect timing. It's just about to get dark. Just about to get dark. See, when we start to go physically mining, once we find redstone, I'm pretty much gonna try to set up kind of a piston system where I can push a lever from in here, and it would, like, raise up blocks, the blocks on the porch, just like that, just right in front of the doors so that I could keep the doors like that, the wooden doors, or... I'll just make iron doors and save myself the trouble of doing that, because truthfully, that would be slightly inconvenient. But anyway, let's just put all that sand in there. Leave a good four pieces of coal in there. Make it six, just to have good measure. Then, how are we doing on time? Wow! We only have about three minutes left. Dang. Now what I'm thinking is maybe I'll also put a staircase to an upper level in here. Oh man, I'm sniffly right now, aren't I? Cause then I could like have a little staircase to an upper level right here. do good to get rid of some of these excess torches since they're not really columns anymore. Just put them right there. Kind of just put the torches right there. Huh. <laughs> Seriously. I must say, I would actually like to know what it would be like to live in this world. Because I have a feeling it would be pretty awesome. Just living off the land, building everything yourself, this easily, you know? Not having to pay the bills, just living your life the way you want to live it. That's what Minecraft is about. That's is what life is supposed to be about. That's what everything is supposed to be like. Everything. Oh, what am I talking about? I don't want to try to be wise or anything. That's not my style. My style is just going with the flow, man. <coughs> God, hit the mic. Hit the mic. And that does it for this episode. Because I just heard my timer go off. How's the glass doing? Oh, wow. It's actually coming along quite nicely.
This is a lot of glass. I'm gonna call this the glass entrance. I should probably... Dang, my shovel broke. Anyway, guys. As I said, that does it for this episode. In the next episode, we will be continuing the build on our house. And I will start the next episode when that glass melting thing is done. See you guys next time. Ah, dang it. No torch. See you guys next time. Peace!